Non-alignment. Problems of non-alignment. 1. No charter, non-aligned movement have not enjoyed the respect an organization of its standard and status deserves, because it has no charter, permanent executive body, secretary general and other institutions of a well-established international body. 2. No military set up, as a result of its military and economic importance, non-aligned movement lacks the instrument of coercion to compel obedience to its resolutions. 3. Poverty. Majority if not all members of the movement are poor. Being a member of poverty-stricken countries, non-aligned movement has become toil of the world power's politics. 4. Failure to remain neutral. Non-aligned movement supposed to be a neutral body, but this body has not been able to achieve or maintain genuine neutrality. This has led to the withdrawal of some members of the movement like Burma and Libya. 5. Differences in ideological stance. Non-aligned movement is a bundle of contradiction in the sense that some members are for capitalism and others for socialism. This has really affected the movement's aims and objectives. 6. The control of IMF and World Bank. These two international banks are being controlled by developed countries and as such, is affecting the policy of non-alignment. Most of the members of non-aligned movement depend on IMF and World Bank loans to raise their economy, which means they should be ready to obey their conditions. 7. Different cultural background. Non-aligned movement is a composition of a vast number of nations with different political system, diverse views and aspiration, which give rise to different odd expectations from the problems that face international body. 8. Absence of a leader. There is no acceptable leadership in the movement, for example USA leads the NATO Pact Russia leads the Warsaw Pact, but non-aligned movement has no clear leadership. 9. Finally, the greatest problem of the non-aligned movement, NAM, has been the inability to successfully mediate between members that are quarreling. Factors that stimulated the formation of non-aligned movement. The following factors or events contributed to the formation of non-aligned movement. 1. International groupings. The formation of North Atlantic Treaty Organization, NATO, by capitalist countries, and the formation of Warsaw Pact by socialist countries in 1949 and 1955 respectively. 2. Arms race. The competitive accumulation of nuclear weapons and other weapons of mass destruction by the world big powers. 3. Bipolarization of the world. The opposition of bipolarization of the world by Nehru of India and Tito of Yugoslavia. 4. The aspiration and desire of independent states. The desire of the newly independent countries to pursue their political, economic and social development without external interference from either the West or the East. 5. Globalization. The wish of these newly independent countries to participate in the making of global decisions affecting their future without having anything to do with the superpowers. 6. The visit of late President Tito of Yugoslavia to India in 1954, followed by a meeting held between Tito and Nehru in New Delhi. 7. The independence of India in 1947, this development encourages territories struggling for self-rule, especially in Africa, Asia and so on. Nigeria Non-Alignment Movement Reasons why Nigeria adopted the principle Nigeria joined the non-aligned movement in Cairo in 1964. The following reasons were given for adopting the principle. 1. To interact and cooperate freely, it was adopted by Nigeria so as to cooperate and interact freely with any nation within the comedy of nations. 2. It was also adopted in order to allow Nigeria to pursue her economic and policies without dictation or interference from either the East or West. 3. The Mouthpiece of Africa it was adopted as a policy so that Nigeria would be able to concentrate on issues affecting Africa, since Nigeria regarded itself as the mouthpiece of Africa on international issues. 
the recognition of MPLA in Angolan crisis, the nationalization of BP now AP and Backlays Bank now Union Bank, are examples. 4. Sovereignty. It was adopted as a policy so as to guide the sovereignty of Nigeria. 5. It was adopted as a policy in order to give leaders a free hand in putting the interest of the country above any other considerations in foreign policy decision.